Hey everybody, it's the Dimmer family, and this week's video is all about... Introduce your child to videos, songs, and books about potty training. This will help them feel more comfortable about the potty training process. Just remember, the first three days are about getting a child comfortable. Long-term potty training takes around 7 to 10 days. Stock up on underwear. Accidents will happen. Sit your child on the potty every 30 minutes to an hour depending on their age for the first three days. Avoid asking questions like, do you have to go potty? Instead, use statements such as, come, let's go potty, and it's potty time. Use pretend play to introduce the potty. I suggest staying home for five to seven days when you start potty training. Restrict your child to one room for a couple of days. We spent most of our time in our living room. Pull-ups, training underwear, or underwear. We used all three, and I'll tell you why. We used pull-ups when we first started potty training. We quickly realized this wasn't going to work because she soiled the pull-up just like she would a diaper. We did, however, use pull-ups during bedtime. This continued until she woke up dry for seven days straight. I would also suggest purchasing a mattress cover, just in case they have an accident. Next, we use big girl underwear. We allowed accidents to happen. This is how your child learns. She quickly learned that it feels uncomfortable when she soils herself. Having accidents is unavoidable, but positive reinforcement goes a long way. Once she got the hang of going to the potty, we switched her to training underwear. These were much easier to pull up and down. Allow your child to play in just a t-shirt and underwear until they get the hang of things. Make it routine to use the potty first thing when they wake up and just before bed. Allow your child to be independent by teaching them how to do things on their own. I recommend using flushable wipes for number two. Disinfectant wipes come in handy for cleaning the potty. Create an awards chart. Bring an awards chart for your child. Every time they successfully go in the potty, they get one sticker for themselves and they get to put one sticker on their chart. On their potty time chart. Once they complete their chart, they get a prize. Good job! If you live in Canada like us, it's easiest to potty train during the summer. Teach your child to properly wash their hands. Aim for about 20 seconds. That's how long it takes to sing the happy birthday song twice, or the alphabet. And don't forget to get in between those fingers. Praise. It goes a long way. Praise nurtures your child's self-esteem, confidence, and sense of self. Once they have mastered the little potty, the next step is transitioning them to the big potty. We use the Fisher Price Perfect Fit Potty Ring to help transition. It adjusts to fit most toilet seats. It's easy to clean, it's comfortable, it has handles, it has an adjustable back support. It's quick and easy to put on and take off. And it even comes with a hook to hang the ring on the side of the toilet. Just remember these simple tips. Introduce videos, books, and songs about potty training. Use pretend play. Stay at home as much as possible during the first week. Restrict your child to one room. For the first three days, put them on the potty 
every 30 minutes to an hour. Make potty time fun. Play games like I Spy and Simon Says. Don't keep them on the potty for longer than 10 minutes. You don't want this to seem like a punishment. Stock up in underwear. Purchase underwear with your favorite characters. Use bolts for bedtime. Make your routine to use the potty before bed and first thing in the morning. Teach independence. Create a reward chart. Going number two on the potty is scary at first. It may take up to a week to get the hang of things. You might want to consider making two charts. One for every time they go number one on the potty and one for every time they go number two. Avoid giving them a pull-up or a diaper when they have to go number two. This will just prolong the process. Be patient and understanding and avoid yelling when accidents happen. Most importantly, praise your child for a job well done. You now have all the tips you need. I wish you the best on this new milestone.